Hey guys, this is a real quick tutorial on how to use AppNotch. Let's start on the first step by clicking Try It For Free. Alright, right here I'm just going to put in my application name and the website address that I want to convert into my application. Then we're just going to click this button here to get it started and you'll see that AppNotch is buzzing around my website. Now it looks like my website's ready, so let's just go to App Settings. Okay, now we're in App Settings. You'll see that this is a preview screen of what my website looks like as an app. And the default menu is already set to the bottom of the screen. From here, I can select what kind of menu I want, whether I want icons with words, just icons, or just words. And here's where I can select my menu colors. Now, I like this model red, so let me select the background colors red. Then I'll select the selected background color as a little darker red so people know which button is selected. And then I'm going to select the white text. Let's click apply and take a look. I love it. Okay, let's go down to the bottom of the screen and select what menu items we want to go where. First you'll see the default menu items are home, phone, push log, email, and social. I'm not really feeling the love on this menu here so I'm going to make some changes to it. Let's start with the home page. I'm going to change the name of the home page to Zomato. And I'm going to click this little icon here that shows me my entire library of icons that I can use. I'm going to scroll through here and, oh, I found a spoon. And we're going to select the spoon. And there we go. I want the phone button to say call us so I'll make that change and the push log is just a list of all the push notifications sent to this app I like to bump that up. I want to put that behind the home page, so I just grab this double arrow here and drag it up and drop it there. And you'll notice that uh, I can't see social unless I scroll. And I'm not, I don't really love that, and I really don't need an email menu item on my app. So I'm going to delete the email menu item. And social is pointing to a Facebook page. Now, I'm going to change the defaults here to Zomato here, facebook.com slash Zomato. That's my page. And I'm going to change it from saying social to Facebook. And I'm going to go find a Facebook icon. Now, here's a little tip. All the social networking icons are at the very bottom, so I'm just going to scroll to the bottom here. And locate the Facebook icon. There we go. Okay, looks like my menu's all set. I'm ready to go on to step two. Now, this is the bonus area. It's basically all your bonus features, which is push notification, automatic updating, and this little thing down here called the Preview App. Now, the Preview App is great. If you don't want to push your application to Android or to iPhone, you can just download this little Preview App, and you can send that out to your friends, and they can take a look at your application, tell you what's wrong with it, what they like about it, what they don't. You can make your changes before you go to the, the store. Let's go into Step 3, Activate. Now eventually this will be the uh, shopping cart subscription area, but right now we're allowing users to try us for free by obtaining an AppNotch coupon. And now you'll see that instead of the three steps that I normally have, I now have the full seven steps. Okay, now we're into section four, app settings. This is basically the area where you go to to set up your app when you're getting ready to publish it to the Apple or the Android stores. 
They need specific information, like your application name that you put in on the very first home page, and then a brief description of your application. Now, if you would like your app to be downloaded by the masses, I suggest that you do a little research on what words you need to put into your description. Be very specific about what your app is capable of doing and who it is for. This is the advanced properties section. We recommend that if you're not an advanced user, you just go ahead and skip this section and move on to step five, Android Apple. Now you'll notice that there are three options up here. We do it for you with our certificate. Every uh, store requires a developer's license, a Google developer license, and an Apple developer license. If you don't have those certificates, then we can do it for you. And that's really what we recommend to everyone. So also we can do it for you if you'd like to use your own certificate. And if you'd like to do it for yourself and use your own certificate, you can select this, but that's not really what we're gonna cover in this video. Right now we're just going to cover what we can do when we do your certificate for you. Now one of the great benefits of having us do your submission for you using our certificate is you get to skip a lot of this stuff that's down here. The only thing you really need to worry about is uploading a high resolution image that will be used for your icon and for your splash screens. After that we pretty much take care of the rest. Since this is my first time using the app, I don't have any images in my library. Let me go find an image here that I can use. This looks like a good one. Drop it in here. Now once I've uploaded this, uh, App Notch is going to take care of all the rest of these things for me. The only thing we ask you to do is at the bottom of the page here, select a category and select maybe a secondary category for your app. This helps people find you in the app stores. The rest of the stuff you really don't have to worry about. You can just go to the next step. This step covers the features that you have activated. And right now, the only thing in this area is Azure push notification. We are using the power of Microsoft Azure to do your push notifications. It's built right into our system. We just ask that you go ahead and enable that push notification feature if you want to use it. Click the update button and we'll go to go live. Right now in the go live section we have available the Android go live. We ask that you click this button to activate your Android go live and you've successfully added your app to the native app builder pool and we're going to send you a message as soon as your app is ready to go. Thank you for sitting in as we walked you through this app builder tutorial. If you have any other questions, please contact support at appnotch.com. See you next time.